I was born in 1965 in Kabul and was fortunate to live through the final few years of what's now uh, you know, a forgotten era in Afghanistan. In those days, when I grew up in the 60s and 70s, Afghanistan was a country living in anonymity, at peace with itself and with its neighbors. And my personal recollections are of, of my childhood in Afghanistan are, are very happy and cheerful. Um, in 1976, my father was assigned to a diplomatic post at the Afghan embassy in Paris. He was a, a diplomat for the foreign ministry. And in October of that year, my family and I moved to Paris. Uh, we were supposed to be there for four years and then return to Kabul. But we never did because in April of 78, Afghanistan underwent a bloody communist coup. And in December of 1979, the Soviets invaded Afghanistan. And almost weekly, we would hear news about former friends, colleagues, family members who'd been imprisoned, tortured, killed, or just gone missing. And it became clear that we could not go back to Afghanistan. It was not safe for our family. So my father applied for political asylum in the U.S. and we resettled in San Jose, California in 1980, in the fall of that year. Um, I think resettling was a difficult adjustment for my family, especially for my parents, but they persevered and they allowed us to uh, uh, go and get an education while they worked. And I'm happy and proud to say that today, um, all five of us, me and my four siblings, um, have settled in well and that we have become all of us in our own way, a productive and contributing members to our, our communities.